Hello and welcome to the AVNet where we are in as about AV. And today I'm going to be showing you a bit of something different. This is something I've built. Not the box, but this is something I've built. I've done a short about this, so if you would like to see that, uh, check out my channel somewhere in the shorts uh, playlist. This was a boombox thing that was shot. Tuna shot OP player never working again. Whereas the tuner was completely dead, never working again. Cassette deck will work again. I just need to put it in something. I've got it down there underneath my desk. But I had this uh, Pioneer cassette deck that I had from a little bit prior to 70s one, some description or 80s. And it, I bought it and it was just sitting around waiting for use and I used it in this. Um, this doesn't look too bad if I do say so myself. I bought the box in KZN so it's a bit rusty but that's not there anymore. Um, no lock in there. There's the handle. These are recovered because the original things were um, what we call shot, broken. Well, they were a bit broken and there was a hole where the cassette deck was. Because I took that out, I decided to recover it, got this fabric and put it in. The previous fabric that was in here was, it was like placemats type of fabric. It was the same sort of 70s look. I covered this myself. It's not the best job. There's a bit of, it's not taut against the wood. Because I didn't use wood, I put screws in inside to hold it in place. It's the first time I've ever covered anything. I don't think it went too poorly. Um... But yeah, definitely learned quite a bit of it from it, so I can do that in the future. The carrying handle. That hole needs to be filled in with something. That hole needs to be filled in, and that hole, which was for the area. If I turn it around, I'm not going to turn it fully, but it's got panels that slide out. It's got these holes that are cutting for the cables from the cassette deck. And it's got this power cable. It runs a 12 volt DC because it is a car radio. But because I've put this connector on, I can put get a plug like this and run this off of a 12 volt battery. Which means that this thing can technically be used as a portable thing. Not very really portable, but partly. Got this 12 volt uh, security pod power supply. It's just a 12 volt power adapter plugged in there. I've put the, where the LP player was, I've taken out. Here's the connector for the battery. Why am I filming there? There. So that just, because the two contacts go into the battery, that just plugs in. It's got this nice little hold. i put these here so you can take your tapes. Say you've got some mixed tapes that you want to play in here. You just slide it in there. Well, not there. When, but when it's full, you can slide it in there and it will just hold it in place. That's wonderful. But anyway, that is the basic layout. Uh, this is held in with hot glue and it's actually quite sturdy in there. But let me take you around the deck. There's a stereo amplifier, quite a small one actually, compact. Got a specs a good punch. It actually needs to still be cleaned a bit, but there is Dolby noise reduction. This is Dolby B, a loudness feature, volume, eject, and uh, stop rewind because this is rewind. Press this and it just resets it. Fast forward, and there. I really like this design. It's from a, this is from a component system, you could get a m lot more components, graphi graphic equalizer, um, tuner, all those things, because this was for your car. There's a base knob, there's a treble knob, and a balance knob. There's an indicator when you've got Dolby B on, when it's playing, and it's got the Dolby logo there. It is connected to the amplifier using this cable, which is quite long. Because like I said, this is for your car, so you're supposed to route this to your car. It's got a 
quite a big DIN connector which I'm not going to undo now because that will take a while but it's got that and yeah it's quite a nice thing I'm quite proud of myself for making it now my tape for testing I'm going to be using let me just get them out so I'm going to be using the big Joburg drive from the 29th of September 2022 which was yesterday it's on a type 1 quite a dark tape so it should be decent quality no Dolby noise reduction I actually don't have anything on hand with Dolby noise reduction so let me just see if there's something here uh, does the Baron have Dolby noise reduction no he does not um, I don't have anything on hand that I can play for you. Some th I don't have anything on hand. I should say that doesn't have, that won't copyright claim me in ten seconds. Um, that has Dolby noise reduction. Okay, yeah. So you're going to go with no Dolby noise reduction for all of this. We've got Aries here, the audio sonogrenzer. This is from the 24th of September, 2022, in stereo. This is on a Type Two. Uh, BASF 60 minute standard tape. And this is also in stereo, by the way. This is Neonchester Hot Fallen Paradise, um, recorded from the CD using my Sony FD, um, FD, what was it? Um, CLCFD V31L cassette recorded thing with the CD player and cassette that I used to copy all my CDs. This is also from CD. Also using that device, the clip fair, blue orchestra, Huntum unit. Yeah, simple stuff. No Dolby noise reduction, all in stereo, and gonna be some singing, some or well, some singing, some blue music, some talking, some more talking, and some more blue music. But we can get to that now. Now I should also mention there is not going to be any lines, ins and outs because there is no way of connecting this thing to I can connect it to RCS but it would involve me soldering them into the thing and I'm not doing that so you put the tape in, it just goes in sideways to the door and you just push so we just make sure the balance is centered so you see singing The balance needs a bit of a clean because that's yeah it is in stereo so I just need to wait until the music is done and I start talking. So we're gonna fast forward. Stop. Fast forward. Stop. Fast forward. Yep, like the man said, there is load shedding in our nickel woods in North Riding. We are currently having a power outage at the moment that is affecting traffic lights in the area. So there's going to be some stop and go activity at multiple junctions in North Riding to expect some delays there. Here's with OBB. Not recorded with the old people, but here is it. At the moment as well, on the N3 South to start to Malibongwe Drive, the emergency lane has been blocked. There's another stationary vehicle on the N1 North. After the ramp from the Banyu Road, as well as another on the N3 North to start to Linksfield, the left lane there has been affected. We'll finish off in Foxford. Here's the loudness. On North Rand Road, there is queuing traffic at Trafos Road. That's where we're going to leave it for now. If we did miss anything, we're ready to receive it. Just kicks up the base. 453-1027. Big thanks to Wheelie for that traffic report. If you're selling your car and want the best cash price, don't accept the first offer. Don't throw your money away. Sell it with Wheelie. Don't just sell your car. Wheelie it. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. I to do say so myself. That was the big Joburg drive on Art 1027 on the 29th of September. 2022. 
That is um in stereo, no normally be. But still. Wonderful album. They have a gouting. Now we have got the clip fair Boo Orchest with or oh, the album on Tamiolo. This is to begin with do what you do well. So we're gonna hit that lead in one out. Yeah, that's the rewind, so I'll we'll just... It has also got auto stop, by the way, so if we fast forward slightly, stop, and we just rewind, it automatically stops the beginning of the tape. So this is quite a feature-full uh, cassette deck. This would have cost a decent chunk of change back in the uh, 80s, 90s, uh, 70s, whenever this is from. Still not exactly sure on that. I still did find it out and forgotten about it, so, yeah. But... Lastly, now we're gonna take a look at. Gaan voor ons begin met die gop. Vandaag gaan. With the tattoo from standard 60-minute tape with the radio sonder grens. First trip on a Saturday. Lekker traditionele boeremuziek speel. Het ek wil hee ons moet afskop. Medi Ellen Green, Davon sorry. Ellen gaan for ons begin met die gala polka. En Donna will act so lekker wolfspiel. Isabella, Isabella die ene. En dan gaan ek Bartskeders bos speel. Met Stompie Heins wat prominent daar op die banjo is. En hulle gaan for ons speel oom Mijnie se kadril. Yeah, quite a nice thing. If you agree with me, it sounds pretty good. It looks decent actually. Really like this deck. It's nice brush steel. 70s design. Did they have to rebuild it, but yeah. But anyway, right that's the end of the video. So as we in the business say this well, this was a bit of a shorter video. Or not shorter but less feature packed. But I just want to show this off and show you what you can do if you get an old car radio in a box and some speakers. But we in the business say, well, we were the same. That's our news. Stay safe, stay home, and stay beautiful.